What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to route the LG Nexus 4 running Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Now as you guys all know the LG Nexus 4 is the current device coming preloaded with Android's newest operating system 4.2 Jelly Bean. Due to open source community the device has already been routed and is now going to be able to have a lot of customizations added to it here in the near future. Now the instructions on this quick tutorial are going to be for the LG Nexus 4 phone only. Applying these steps to an older Nexus model will result in less than stellar results. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is charge your battery I'd say at least to about 80 percent. Go into your handset and enable USB debugging. Now before you start any of these steps you should always remember to back up any of your important files to your computer or to the cloud whichever one you prefer. I would just like to state that this routing format is still in beta and routing your phone is entirely at your own risk. There's a few steps you're going to have to take. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is download the insecure boot image. And I'll go ahead and drop the link down in the description. Next you're going to have to download the root files. I'll also have a link to that down in the description as well. After downloading the package you'll be presented with BusyBox. It should be Binary SU which would be the latest and Super SU 0.98. Now you're going to have to extract the downloaded zip file onto any folder of your choice. Connect the Nexus 4 to your PC via a USB cable. Download the required drivers. I'll drop a link down in the description. Reboot the device into Fast Loader Reboot and enter the following code into the command prompt. Next, unlock the bootloader of the device using the code shown here. Now you're going to want to enter bootloader mode again. Now boot into the insecure image that you downloaded in step one by entering the following code. Now this is not going to replace the boot image that's currently on your phone. The boot will take place just once from the new insecure image. After the boot with the insecure image, the following commands have to be entered into the prompt window. Just a quick note, you need to be into the directory when you're entering these files. And that's it. After the device reboots, you'll have root access on your LG Nexus 4. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this content helped you out. If it did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. We'll be making tons more videos like this. I do jailbreaks, roots, everything like that. I'm going to be getting more into uh, Android and Windows phones as well as my current Apple content that I keep here on the channel as well. So stay subscribed. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Once again, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this route. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.